This is Kangkajan Reservoir in Kangkajan National Park in Thailand. Today is the 24th of June 2017 and we're going to see uh, some of the pictures from the work that was done today in the International Peace Park at the Andy International uh, Development Ethics Center in Kangkajan, Thailand. I want to show first the situation of the dam. Uh, we can see this dam is providing water, especially in the dry season, that allows irrigation of uh, many agricultural areas as well as uh, preservation of the plant and animal species that are living downstream. And of course, uh, providing water for uh, humans to use as well. Dams are one aspect of the intervention of nature that we've become familiar with. Uh, it is a very popular spot for tourists alike and supports a wide range of animals and plants in this large national park, as we're going to see. I hope you can join us. Uh, figure out the age of the tree if you count the, the rings around the center here. And how many rings does this have? So from here to here, uh, there's about 40 rings. I've just counted with Masato. Yes. So this part is, f is 40 years old, and this is probably 50. It's probably a little bit bigger. But then if you go further outside and you just extrapolate, so if this is 40, 40, that's like 80, yeah. so that's probably 120, 160, almost 200. I would say this, this thing is about 200. Years old. And this tree seems to be like two have joined together. Yeah, and, and that's also it's like a twin tree. A twin tree. Yeah. Two trees have joined, and that's actually uh, not common, uh, but it is known to happen. Two trees form into one. So this is Khao Yai National Park yeah. in Thailand, and this is uh, in Kankajan Reservoir, the lake here. This is the center of much uh, biodiversity, one of the largest national parks in Thailand. For people coming to the Peace Park, this is a very good opportunity. This is the explanation of the tree. And it's about 5.30 in the evening. The sun is still up. We're going to look in the Khao Yai um, Kankashan National Park headquarters. People have been living here in the park and some uh, hill tribe people, indigenous people, are living still in the forest. Sometimes they have disputes over their occupation uh, in traditional land uh, when the government declares it a place for people uh, not to live. But it, indigenous people have a right to live. So how do you balance these two things? And in fact, they can preserve the environment uh, by being there. This is a picture of Kankajan National Park. It's uh, for people to experience nature. They can hire tents. They can go and explore, not to cross the boundary into Myanmar. The distance east to west is around um, 40 kilometers by road, 36 kilometers up to there. So, is it good for health to be in the environment? Oh, definitely. Um, I always feel better when I come out, you know, in, in, in this type of setting. Uh, Bangkok is a really exciting city, but fortunately the air has become increasingly more polluted and as a bicyclist I'm feeling the effect. Uh, so coming out here gives me a chance to depollute my lungs and, 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 and you know, explore 
the wonders of nature. It's amazing. <laughs> right. So it's good for our soul. Definitely. I think it's good for your soul, good for your spirit, good for your health. Uh, you also get to uh, be mindful um, of, of nature and, and, and your place in nature. Um, it just sometimes makes me wonder why people don't, you know, play up nature more. Uh, especially people who live in cities, you know. Mm -hmm. We need to really get people to come back to nature because that's the only way you can actually balance your urban yeah. um, <clears throat> complex life. Um, you need to be away, uh, and this is a good place to get to. So there's a lot of uh, wild animals here. Oh yeah, well we saw a few today. Uh, <laughs> yes, we saw in the Peace Park, we yeah. saw a few. Yeah. We could see leopard as well. <laughs> yes, well we couldn't see leopard in the Peace Park, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> we saw a lizard, we saw a centipede, <laughs> that made us run away because it could be poisonous. Squ squirrels, birds. Squirrels, birds. So, His Majesty, the King of Thailand, King Rama the Ninth, came in to the park and they support the sustainability. We still don't have a survey. You want to do a survey? Dogs and animals, you can also like trees. <laughs> Show me, you're hugging a tree? Yeah, I'm hugging a tree. <laughs> well, one day they'll grow big, these uh, trees. Okay. Or I like this. Look at the colors. They're so pretty, huh? Look yeah. Nice color. I like this one. Oh. <laughs> so we're in the Kankajan Resort, Thai Diamond Land. Sorry, what sort of tree? Yeah, it's really sleeping now, right? Yeah. So it could be like uh, night time. Yeah. Oh, they sleep at night? Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Free yeah. sleep? How, how do you know? They're like clothing. Oh, yeah. they close at night. It's because it's sensitive to your hand. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's yeah. like so that's why yeah, the yeah. the Buddhists so they do this. Open, like this Interesting. Yeah. That's where they they got it from, from the trees. Right? It's a protective yeah, measure. Like water pressure uh -huh. in the some this kind of system, so they take the water from yeah. the deep. They charge it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope we didn't wake it up. You know, in the morning uh, it, it goes back up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we go to the peace park now. So these are the road to the ah. Peace Park. It's on Soy 31. Oh. Are you okay? Huh? So after driving around the loop road, uh, we come to the checkpoint. Just before the checkpoint, uh, Soy 31. Soy 31 drives up towards the north. And it's on here, but we'll see the Peace Park to the subsoy, the fifth uh, on the right. So this is the fifth uh, subsoy on the right, and this is the one we take for little guard houses here. And this is where we go to the peace park. So driving from the road, we come into the end of a seal and uh, past the houses, and this is the peace park. So. After a very hard day's work, Osama and Masato have joined myself, Daro Mesa, and we've cleared some of the ground today. So the International Peace Park, when was it opened? November 2012. And today is? Today is 
uh, what is it, 24, 24th of June, 2017? 2017. Yeah. So Nearly five, five years. Ago. Okay. Four and a half years. So these trees, some of them have gone for four and a half years. How did you feel about today's work? Was it tough? <laughs> yes, I felt like a logger. <laughs> and you got good gloves on? Yeah. yeah. We were wearing long trousers when we were working, but now we're... You felt a good swim? Yeah, oh, fantastic swim. Highly recommend it, yeah. Um, so we'll take a little walk down the Peace Park and see if the weeds have grown back again yet. So we're very grateful to our volunteers who come. People can come, volunteer, and get a workout with enjoy the peace. This is the main road in. So when working, very important to have long trousers, good shoes. Um, for walking now, uh, I'm using shorts. But this is a proper costume, yeah? Yeah, yeah. you need long, long sleeves, sleeves yeah. long pants. And a hat. Yeah. And a hat. Yes, the sun has gone now. Otherwise, so, uh, you're going to get a lot of uh, surprises. So, <laughs> so the blue poles uh, mark some of these uh, precious trees. We're just going to take a few videos of some of the paths. The Yufshinesco Club from Nepal is one of our staunchest supporters. You can see the paths, the trees facing the rocks. So we can see the path through the weeds. Should we walk down to where you did some work today? Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Uh, so we can actually see the path now. We did some pretty good work today, I thought. And so this is the path now. There's a side path here. And we're going over to the boundary between uh, the pond one, which is basically empty. We don't fill it anymore because water is scarce. And the f it's a plaque like this all around the park. What does it say? Life is what happens to you while you are busy making another plant. Written by John Lennon, beautiful boy, England, 1980. Yep, that's life. And so we can walk through. This is uh, going back, this is Bougainvilliers. Now you may see that on the ground there's still uh, water lines. Many of them are second water lines because of the deterioration in the sun. Now these, uh, several of these trees are ironwood. They don't grow uh, too rapidly, but they may live up to 1500 years. Really? Wow. That's a redwood. Ironwood. Oh, wow. So this was planted. Some pretty good genes. So like some of the first trees. Do you want to live 1,500 years? Yeah. Yes. Okay, me too. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, good luck. Just come and hug the tree every day. <laughs> and then hopefully some of its genes will uh, mutate into us. By contagion. So some of these areas we didn't uh, have a chance to go over today. So you can see uh, the status of some of these trees is surrounded by the weeds. Now what's the difference? The weeds? Are these weeds or flowers? What do you think? Masato, you think it's a flower? Yeah, I think so. And Asami, you think it's a weed? Uh, I think it's a weed. 
with a pretty flower on top. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the name, is, but it's very common one. And with a pretty purple flower, yeah. yeah. Wind. So the bamboo poles, we have started off with bamboo poles, but they rotted away. So we went to the bl blue uh, PVC piping. Oh, is that a moth? So some houses next door. Several of the trees we planted, the teak trees, are growing very well. This was an initial attempt at a compost heap, uh, which we had. So you can see, this is a jungle. Yeah. Yeah, like the other videos. Yeah. But we go to some parts which we cleared. So some of the birds are laying their nests here, aren't they? Yeah, we saw one. Uh, and I told you. But that was interesting. We have different medicinal herbs at different ages. So you can see, in a, this is now the beginning of a rainy season, but the dried, the dead leaves here from the drought in the dry season, if the water's not running, uh, but it's still uh, able to grow back in this case. But not all of them do. This is a tea tree. They don't get dirty, they're always clean. Do they wash themselves? They're shiny. Yeah, yeah, sometimes they're shiny, yeah. I, so there's no dust on them. How come dust doesn't settle on them, like everything else? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's not so dusty, or maybe it's the rain or every day. Yeah, possible, okay. But today we didn't get really rain. It was rain today, yeah. Well, maybe sometimes like the stuff is very smooth. Yeah, so the dust yeah. doesn't settle. This one, like, uh, like this small, one uh, you can small use. hairs on this. Ah, so yeah. this is like yeah, like very yeah, yeah. So the teak is a bit rough. rough. Yeah, rough, right? You can maybe use this to exfoliate your face. Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, there's no uh, chemicals used here. Yeah, so yeah. oh my god, you can shave with it. It's right? it's woof, it's harsh. I'm not shaving. Oh my god, like sandpaper. Yeah, just small hairs on this, I think. Yeah, yeah, like sandpaper. Yeah. Well, somebody's eating it. And somebody's eating it too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving this interesting pattern. <laughs> so the teak. So we have to make our way over there. There is a path was cleared last about four months ago, so this one. So it's growing some weeds. This is the second pond. A little bit of water in it. There'll be some frogs living there. And we're going to go over this side of the park. This is a very large uh, bamboo area. I mean it's bamboo, yes. The leaves are very smooth. So this is where king cobras like to uh, to reside, yeah? Because yeah. Uh, they're cool during the day, so uh, you have to approach with caution, just mm -hmm. in case uh, you might annoy the the animal and you don't want any nasty surprises. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and this is really expanded, this uh, patch of bamboo, it's quite large. Mm -hmm. 
aloe was very useful uh, for stings. Oh yeah, it's grown nicely. You can see here, after a couple of years, it's still got a very long stem. Still alive. And here you see the difference between a teak tree and a naturally sown uh, plum tree. Now these plums grow very quickly, but they are quite notorious and we found a few today that had fallen over, rotten. Yeah, and we had to uh, actually chop one down. That was a bit exciting. <laughs> it was dead. And <laughs> ants were living there, but still yeah. about to uh, fall over, yeah? Yeah, definitely. So now the ants have, uh, can have a better home, hopefully. Hopefully. So this is a good uh, cleared path. Yeah, this is the work we did today. We uh, cleared a lot of weed. Um, so you can see the path now, all the way down. Yep. The night birds and animals are coming out. Okay, dinner time, yay. Not us, guys. <laughs> Yes. So this is an example of a rotten, uh, dead plum tree. You can see this is only grown basically after four and a half years. It's grown about 30 meters tall, but totally dead. And uh, we needed uh, some foresters today <laughs> to yeah. take it down and push it away so it doesn't fall over onto the path. We had a few which we had to move to the path. So some of these trees are really growing well. Oh, the ants have moved away already. On to you. We have uh, more peace parks and signs. Indicators for signs. This is a Zen garden. It's a, uh, become a bit more animated with plants. Small plaques. So there's still some work to do. Plenty of work. Stay healthy. Go to nature. Yep. yep. So Masato, you were talking about the particulate matter in Bangkok. It's bad for a PM, it's bad for our lungs, is it? Yeah, uh, you know, there's uh, one problem in the world about air pollution, and then some of the pollution are very common in major city, including Bangkok. So just be careful because WHO published the paper saying that in global, more than like 7 million people are affected by air pollution, and then now PM. We think that is one of the major cause for your lung and maybe sometimes you go into blood to make it like more cough or some disease could cause in your body after consuming a lot of, how to say, like small particles in your body. Mm. Just be careful and we are dealing with it. So if we come to natural parks, yeah. it's clean air. Yeah, that's clean here, yeah. but you know, there's uh, some air pollution can go anywhere in the world. So mm. we try to better deal with like using less, uh, how do you mm, less, uh, what about this? But, uh, Cleaning up the emissions. Clean air, yeah. yeah. And of course, you can choose the National Park, it's very good for your health. After spending five days in Bangkok, Maybe one or two days after Bangkok, <laughs> actually definitely better for your health. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, and I feel the difference, actually, immediately yeah. when I come here. Mm. I see. So you feel good after the day? Oh, definitely. I feel like I'm much healthier. I can breathe yeah, better. I don't have any uh, side effects. Yeah. 
like in Bangkok, uh, I ride my bicycle a lot and I always feel like a, a niche in my throat. Yeah, yeah, throat, throat, throat. yeah after about, like yeah. 10 minutes of exposure. And yeah. even though I wear a mask, I still feel the, the, yeah. the sore throat sometimes. And it stops as soon as I go home. So if I stay home, it doesn't come back. Here, I can be outside and it doesn't come back either. <laughs> yep. So that means the air here yeah. is clean compared to the air in the city. Of course, there's no man. I've been, I've been outside the whole day with you guys today, yeah? yeah. We got here, what, at like at yeah. nine? Now it's almost six. Nice. Nothing. That's uh, amazing. Great. That's great. So, <laughs> this is proof yeah. that it's, uh, the air is cleaner here. Yeah? And so it's better for you. Better, yeah. So it looks like we're going to go back to Bangkok for uh, yeah, to uh, exactly. the big smoke. Unfortunately, so that's where we make our living. But I look forward to coming back here. Yeah, good. And so, if you're interested, please uh, come out. And uh, with any of us, we're happy to bring out volunteers to enjoy nature, yeah. see the peace parks, and uh, work for peace in the world. Come out with your mountain bicycle and uh, ride these trails that are yeah. being, you know, clean and help us make yeah. more trails <laughs> <laughs> in the park. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, a great yeah. place to ride a bicycle. Yeah, yeah. mountain bike. That is. Or to walk. Or to walk. Yeah. To sit down. Sit down and yeah, you can even have maybe uh, some drinks, bring some food, have a little picnic with some friends and family. Why not? Yep. Um, You're very welcome to come. And um, everybody, everybody should actually uh, leave the city and come out to uh, to nature. Uh, and we really need to get people to, you know, appreciate nature more. Mm. This was the idea of the foundation of a park to be a place for people to be at nature and yeah. to get less stressed, less conflict. Oh yes, definitely. So, we hope to see you here. <laughs>